our affirmation today is I embrace all seasons of my life. And when we talk about the seasons of our lives, of course, we have our good times and our bad times. There are, uh, you know, the hills and the valleys in lives. And I hate to pick on winter, but that just seems to be poetically. Everybody talks about winter as being that uh, bad time of life, although certainly today I would appreciate the winter hours. But yeah, you know, what's that famous novel starts out? That was the winter of our discontent. So <clears throat> we don't have anything against winter personally. We're just using it as the metaphor of, you know, the challenging times in life. So as you think of the times in your life where you've been in a circumstance or situation, you have a great financial challenge or you have a, a great illness or there's a real great upset with a boss, a coworker, or a family member. Sometimes we get so involved in that, we don't see it as a passing season in our lives. We get so mired down and we don't we don't see that there is going to be another side of that. Uh, I'm sure that all of us here have, at one time or another, had a major a financial challenge, a health challenge, uh, a relationship challenge. And looking back now, probably at the time, it seemed like the biggest thing in the world. And when you're in the middle of it, it's hard to imagine that it's something you're going to get over. That it, like all the seasons of the year, is going to pass because we're so tied up in it and so emotionally invested in that. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today is the things that we should do because the reality is even if you're not in something like that today, you probably will be. The way that we get through that is to envision it like a season. Like, um, <clears throat> you know, all week I've had this cold and I have all these projects I want to do around the house, and I say, oh, well, when I get over it, when I get over it. Because that's something we know. We know, we expect that we're going to get over a cold, or, um, you know, when you're in a bad place, you know that that's going to end. And so you can anticipate the good. But when we're in these situations, like uh, I think I shared with you last uh, winter, our, our company was really having some just gut-wrenchingly uh, challenging economic times. And in the middle of it, yeah, I was, uh, you know, very anxious and upset and all kinds of things were going on. And when you're there, you know, I didn't, it didn't occur to me to look beyond and, and say, gosh, it's going to be so much better when this is over because you don't realize that that's going to be over. Whereas if you have a, a simple cold, you know that's going to be over. So you can look forward to that. You can anticipate that. Anticipating that wellness actually even drives away the illness because it brings in that positive energy. So if we can look beyond the season, the challenging season, the winter that we're in, then we can know that there is good on the other side. We are going to get through it. So anticipate and look at every situation, every circumstance that you're in as something that you know what you are going to get through? Thank God for getting you through that situation. In our scripture lesson today, our New Testament lesson, where God is asking the sacrifice that he wants you to make is just to continuously thank him. Be sure that the fruit of your lips is giving thanks to his name. Do this and God is well pleased. And that's hardly a sacrifice. If you think of all the things in life, all the sacrifices we've had to make by being thankful. As you're going through this challenge or this journey, you know what? Thank God for getting you through this. Thank God for letting the resources come to you or the, the, the payment plan or whatever's necessary to get through your financial challenge. If it's a health challenge, thank God for letting the healing come to you. Thank God in advance for resolving the family conflict or the conflict at work or with the neighbor or the friend or the coworker, whatever the circumstance or situation is. Be thankful. Start out being thankful. When we pray, we need to be mindful too to thank God in advance for all these things. You know, we don't need to necessarily always fall on our knees and be begging for stuff. Christ doesn't want a lot of beggars. He wants us to know that we are going to be taken care of if we continually praise God and thank him God is well pleased. And for that sacrifice, as we know, that's not much of a sacrifice to be thankful because uh, certainly you get change from the cashier at the supermarket and hopefully you say thank you to him. So certainly for all the wonderful things that God gives you, you can thank him and that's hardly a sacrifice. So as you're going through the week, ask yourself uh, your question, do I allow the anticipation of the good outweigh the seasons of challenge? So when you're in that 
winter of your discontent and everything seems so bleak and bleary. And it's hard too. I know, like I said, I've been there. It's hard to have that forward vision because you're so wrapped up in trying to resolve this and the anxiety and the emotion. And that is the time, of course, when we need most to stand back and understand that this too will pass. We'll get through this. And the more that we anticipate and look forward to that and thank God for getting us to the other side, the quicker we're going to get there and the easier this uh, winter, this winter period, this winter season is going to be for us to endure because we know that we have the other side of this challenge to look forward to. So as you're going through the week, ask yourself that, is my anticipation of the good outweighing the season of challenge? Am I allowing, knowing the good is coming to outweigh and overcome all this challenge? Because of course, as we, we know as New Thought students, thoughts in mind create after their kind. So our thoughts create our reality. So if we're stuck in the middle of this uh, winter of discontent, this horrible season, and that's all we're focusing on, that's just going to regenerate more and more and more of that. Whereas if we are able to stop and say, I know the good is there, I know this, this will pass, this will be resolved, I'll get back to normalcy on the other side, let that be what your mind is creating. Let those be the thoughts. Let that be the reality that your mind creates. And that's how you get through that challenge, and that's how you know that the good is going to outweigh the season of your challenges. And the good news is that just as the summer season has come, so too do great things come to our lives. Just as the winter season eventually becomes the spring and the summer, so do the challenging and unpleasant times wane, bringing us into the season of great happiness, health, and prosperity. Just like Mother Nature, you know, we need the, we need the winter, we need the rain to get the ground ready for the spring to come, for the flowers to come, for the summer to be perfect, for the autumn. So sometimes, as much as we you know, don't want to acknowledge it, those winter months, those winter challenges, they're necessary to help us grow and evolve and become better people. So when you're in the midst of that, be sure to look to the other side. Know there is another side. Know that you're going to get to it. You can indeed look back and say, you know what? I have fully embraced all the seasons of my life, and they've made me a much better person. And uh, because of that, I live this great life of happiness, health, and prosperity. Mm -hmm.